Wonderful. Now that all of our guests of honor have made it into their seats, I'd like you to continue standing, please, as I introduce to you Ashley Gilcher and Joe DeYoung, who are going to sing our national anthem. <clears throat> oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight? Or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets rattler, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Laura Lamore. I'm the Executive Director for Special Education for Grand Rapids Public Schools, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the 2015 Recognition Ceremony. We will be recognizing students tonight from Kent Educational Center at the Beltline Campus, from the Lincoln Developmental Center, from Lincoln School, from Pine Grove Learning Center, and from the Kent Vocational Options and the Transition Center at Mayfield. This is a day to acknowledge the students we have shared with you as families, friends, and staff. We're honored tonight to have several of our Board of Education members with us, as well as members of our Superintendent's Cabinet. We'd like to introduce you to Reverend John Matias, Board Member. Ms. Maureen Slade, Board Vice President. And Mrs. Teresa Weatherall Neal, our Superintendent. I'd also like to acknowledge several of our cabinet members who are seated in our audience. Cabinet, if you would please stand. And now, it's my pleasure to welcome to you Mrs. Teresa Weatherall Neal, our superintendent, or as we like to call her, our super duper. <laughs> Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to stand before you today um, for the students to tell you how proud I am. As you continue on with your journey when you leave us, I want you to know that you can accomplish anything that you choose to. This is always probably the most uh, special um, day. This particular graduation, I have a sister, Denise, and I've shared this story about Denise so many times, but Denise graduated from Ken Occupation High in 1978, and that was over 30 years ago. And she has worked in this community for the past 30 years. And so I want to say to the staff members, to your families, and to all of us in the district, thank you for allowing us to serve you. We are so very proud of your accomplishments. I want you to know that anything that you choose to do, this is the hardest part. You can do anything after this. You have all of the support systems that you need, and if you ever need any of us in the Grand Rapids Public Schools to help you, on your journey, I want you to call us.
Call the school, call the teachers. We are here to continue to support you. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, the students who sit before you come from across Kent County, and they're about to take the next big step in their life. They have been prepared for this day by their own determination, by you, by their families, by friends, and by our awesome school staff. Now comes the time when we in the community, we take its turn, our turn, in supporting you as you continue to grow and discover all that you can be. You know, this is one of the last times that we're gonna be calling you students. You're moving from the student and school-based world into the community world, and it is gonna be hard work. But you are no stranger to hard work. We have seen you be resilient, patient, understanding. We have seen you be brave and determined. We have seen you attempt and conquer all challenges put before you. So my message for you as you go forth today is please don't shy away from the challenges that you're gonna be facing in your life. Don't just endure it either. Get into it, take charge of it, live in it. You've got this. We know you've got this, we've seen you. For as long and as hard as you all have worked, this is your moment. While there's much left for you to do, there is much that you have already done, and tonight we celebrate you for that. Go for what is in front of you the same way you have gone for everything in your life with us here at Grand Rapids Public Schools, and we look forward to seeing you in the community. Thank you. So, we offer um, congratulation and thanks, and we have some special words of rec reflection that we would like to call one of our recipients forward to share with you. Please join me in welcoming Keegan Dewey. Hello everyone, my name is Keegan. 25 years ago, my doctors told my mom and dad I would never walk or talk. And my mom and dad have been telling me, telling me to sit down and be quiet ever, ever since. For the last three years, I have been at Eberhard Seabot program where I have learned many jobs and life skills that have made me more independent person. I, I learned how to use the rapid, and I can take the rapid bus safely 
anywhere I wanted to go on my own. While working at Comprenew, I learned to use hand tools to recycle computers and I know I know I know I have my own tool set that I use to help me help with projects around my house. I, I also volunteer at Mary Freebed, helping out wherever I was needed. I will continue to volunteer there. Many of my skills I learned in the CBOT program helped me improve my job skills at Forest Hills Foods. Helps me, helps me land my dream job working as a assistant equipment manager for the West Michigan Whitecaps. I would like to thank my family, friends, and all uh, for all your support. And I would like to thank all my teachers, support staff, and the bus drivers that helped me along the way. I will miss you all very much. Thanks everyone for being there for me. I, I, and I ask that you please support our military, fighter fighters, and the police officers. Thank you. Now you see why Superintendent Neal and I went before Keegan went. It was by design. Nice job, Keegan. Now it is time for us to begin bringing forward our recipients. To all of you, we offer you congratulations and thanks. And I'm sure that you join us um, in this celebration, family and friends and staff members. We're going to be inviting our students to join us on stage for their individual presentation. And as your name is called, we would like you to join us, receive your certificates, and shake the hands of this lineup of people that will be here any moment um, to greet you and congratulate you. The class of 2015 Request your cooperation in refraining from loud and disruptive noises during the presentation because we want every student to have his or her very special moment. And so we thank you for that in advance. So Mrs. Slade, at this time, would you please join me at the podium? Thanks for I coming. You, I thought you were going to add something more <laughs> for me to do. <laughs> we're going to begin with the recipients from our Kent Education Center. So I would like to ask our Board of Education 
members and Teresa Neal to come forward, please, as well as our principal, Mrs. Cindy Damoski, to um, prepare for the welcome of those students. Our first student from KEC Beltline is Jason Rivero. Jason, if you would come forward, please. Any step will do, Jason, you're good. Our next student is Brett Williams. We'll now be announcing the names of individuals from Lincoln Developmental Center. Good evening. My name is Lisa Merritt, and it is my honor and privilege to announce the recipients of the Certificate of Completion from Lincoln Developmental Center. Sarah Lynn McBride. Ashley Nicole Morgan. Joshua Charles Van Hatesma. Next, we'll welcome the recipients from Lincoln School. Mr. Isaiah Thomas Davis.
Edward J. Simmons. Deb Mikeley will read the names for Pine Grove Learning Center. Jennifer Kennedy. Shane McDonald. Tony Moore will be reading the names from, from Kent Vocational Options. We have Jillian Hill. We have loved Jillian, and Jillian has loved us over the years, if you can tell. <laughs> Miss Abigail Kirkinger. Miss Tiffany Shin. Mr. Jeremy Wassenaar.
And now we will have Mrs. Laura Ochoa to read the names of the Transition Center recipients. Good evening. Um, Emily Marie Black. James Daniel Yeah, sorry. <laughs> James Daniel DeVries. Keegan O. Dewey. Sean Kevin Felt. Sarah Ann Gilbert. Myra Jimenez Cabrilla. Melody Lee. Brittany Renee Pello. <laughs> Felicia Marie Russell. Robert Lee Sterner. (laughs) 
Augusta Sudu. Tonight we have presented to you 37 students from our um, special education programs and services and schools and transition centers. And if I could now ask Mrs. Maureen Slade to come and join me at the podium, please. It's a big moment. It is the big moment. The big moment. This is it. I stand before you as Executive Director of Special Education and Early Intervention Services, and I certify that all the students who receive certificates have met or exceeded the requirements as set forth by Grand Rapids Public Schools, uh, their Board of Education in this great state of Michigan. On behalf of the Board of Education, faculty and staff of the Grand Rapids Public Schools, it is my honor to accept the class of 2015 and with the power vested in the board by the state of Michigan hereby confer certificates of completion on each. Congratulations. Thank you, Mrs. Slade. And thank you all for attending this recognition ceremony. Would you please join us in celebrating each of our young adults' efforts and determination to reach this day. We are proud of their accomplishments and successes. And now we ask the class of 2015 to please rise. And you may now move your tassel from right to left. We thank you one and all for joining us this evening for this wonderful celebration of determination, knowledge, skill, and leadership. We're looking at next generation community members and it makes us all very proud. Thank you for coming. And if you would please, audience, if you could remain in your seats while we exit our stage guests and our guests of honor, our recipients, process out. Thank you.